this is a remake of a lateral placed in a sloped main and connecting to a sloped branch or routing a sloped branch. This lateral was left unrotated uh, along the longitudinal axis. This one not rotated. This one has been rotated. So I'm gonna, I wanted to show you a couple different things here. If you come out of here and you put your slope on the line, and we were doing a 10%. First of all, if you try to come out if you try to come out this way, it won't let you. You have to come out perpendicular to the main. Drag your pipe out, pick again, enter, enter. Now, we'll list this line. And the angle in the XY plane, it's square. It's an even quadrant number, and this, this is from the XY plane, our slope. We list this one. You see, it's not perfectly, I mean, what are we talking here? Two ten thousandths of a millimeter. Well, I'm picky. It should be dead nuts on uh, an even quadrant. The slope is correct. But here's the interesting thing about it. Let's erase this and start over. We'll come out from here. We won't put any slope on this at all. We'll just drag it out. We'll erase this. We'll start our slope from here now. Enter, enter. Now let's list this line. Dead nuts on. It is perfectly perpendicular to the main, and it has our slope. Now I'm in 3D Max, my virtual reality for uh, pipe fittings, interaction, dynamics. The magenta lines represent the uh, grid lines at zero, zero, zero. Uh, those were put in, so I made sure that my pipes were accurately placed, um, perfectly straight, perfectly perpendicular to each other. So let's start by putting a slope on our main. And I'm going to rotate that in the x-axis, 2 degrees. Then we'll go put a slope on our branch like we did in the first example without rotating the lateral. We're just going to rotate this elbow uh, to get our slope. And it is aligned. The center of rotation is aligned with the center line of this pipe. So that we get an accurate rotation. So we'll put a slope on this. And we have our two degree slope. When I look at the plan view now, we'll see that it's no longer perpendicular to the main. You can see that it's not the
pipe isn't parallel to the center line anymore. And that's what happened in that first uh, example in CAD works. So let's back out of this. Let's go back here and rotate the lateral now to match the slope that we want to put on this line. And again, notice that the center line of our rotation is going to be the center line of the pipe, not the world coordinate system. And again, we're going to rotate in the Y axis. Now we have our slope. However, when I go in here, look at the plan view, we'll notice again that this branch line is no longer perpendicular with the main. But now, we can do what a pipe fitter would do, come in here to this fitting and rotate it till he brings that into the perpendicular. And I'm just going to do this calibrated eyeball. That looks pretty good. Let's go look at our plan view, our front view here. Now you can see we've got a slope on it. Anyway, this is the uh, proper way to do it. So what we want to take away from this is we want to rotate our fitting to match the slope of our branch. And we want to drag a pipe out from our lateral, stop it, and then pick it up again and drag a new line with our slope on it, which is essentially rotating this fitting to do what I did over here, rotate it to get a parallel or perpendicular to our main. Let's take a quick look at the ISOs on these. This is the ISO for the one where the lateral was not rotated. However, you'll notice that there is a slight difference in elevations between these points. This is a little higher. Here's our slope. Here's the one where we rotated the fitting to match the slope that we were going to place on our branch. And you can see what the uh, slope on that is, 14 millimeters per meter. But there's a proper way to do it.